In your opinion, what type of behaviour makes a modern hotelier today a smart hotelier? What, what are some of the things that smart hoteliers are doing with their business and how are they applying technology into their business that, that makes you go, that's clever? Automating workflows. Mm -hmm. Like when I look at hoteliers, I see that there's a lot of manual processes that can easily be, be automated. Could you right? give us some examples? I was on a trip in the US uh, yeah. with my family yeah. and then we booked like a really nice hotel, I think it was 35 rooms and this guy asked me like mainly when's your arrival time and I replied by email, hey my arrival time is at 4 p.m. and that's like such an easy example on, on a thing you could automate, right? Just automate that message and then you will easily save like one minute per guest every day, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. And I, I see a lot of a lot of examples like that in, in, in hotels, right? Or like what we spoke about earlier, automate the process of re, you know, like of the business workflow to to reply to unsatisfied customers, right? So I see a lot of hotels just looking through their reviews, through their feedbacks, and saying, ah, there's a negative review here, there's a negative negative guest feedback here. Maybe I reply tomorrow. Maybe somebody already did it, but. Why don't you automate that and have a specific workflow so that you make sure that you react within, I don't know, like 48 hours or yeah. whatever your yeah. workflow is there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of examples there. And, but I also see that changing quite a lot now that interfaces are, are more open. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, which is a good thing. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 I, th I think the interface uh, uh, probably will be solved soon. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I always wonder how long it will take until those legacy systems are replaced by, by, by new ones, right? I don't think you're the only one. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. It, it will be quite interesting. It will be. Interesting yeah. to watch. I think also a lot of existing players will change, right? And like, I don't even mean Oracle, right? But um, there are some players there that have like a really high customer satisfaction, mm -hmm. but I hear more and more voices now that they are people are get, losing trust because they still have to pay so much for interfaces, right? right? Yeah. So I think just from a business perspective, it needs to change, right? If I was the CEO of such a company, I mean, that would be a big danger sign saying, hey, customers are getting um, dissatisfied because of interface price. So I believe that will mm. change a lot. And then also with players such as Impala, um, um, things will be so much easier. Mm. What, I, what I will, I'm also really curious to see is like more like, um, for example, industry agnostic CRM systems, how they will, um, be used, right? And I now see, for example, I hear more and more big hotel chains thinking or implementing Salesforce, for example. Yeah, yeah. And that will be really interesting because um, that has a big implication because not only APIs will be free, but also what is happening to to existing solutions that are now being replaced by, mm. in this case, Salesforce. Mm. Right? Mm. Currently, when I speak to hotel chains, most of them, they're not paying for interfaces right. because they have such a big deal, says the vendor just says, ah, I give it to you for free. Yeah. The small ones, they are paying yeah. for, for the interfaces, yeah. right? Yeah. And I mean, for the small ones, it will be interesting to see how fast they change because the big one, you can, I would actually argue, you can change faster, but the small ones um, will change a lot. Um, um, it's a bit more difficult because there's a big market barrier in the sales process, actually. Right. So for like a new player, PMS player, to, to, to approach all the big chains, that's, I mean, still a big, a difficult job, but it's really hard if you want to go for the independence hotels and one by one try to make them switch their system. Yeah, yeah. So that is why a lot of those systems will stay for a long time. Sure, sure. But I think also the, the other factors that make it hard, there are other factors. It's not just that with the independence and the longer, the long term. For example, um, cost, time, trust, there's, there's, there's a few Trust different a big things. One, yeah. Trust is a big one. Um, so it's an interesting dynamic. Oh yeah, for sure. Again. And, and I, I totally feel the pain, right? I'm sure so you do. That's why. Like I'm in, in our, in, in, in our case, right? So yeah. just thinking from our company case, it's like um, switching our CM system. That's mm. that's huge, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.